Just got in from watching the movie Gucci. Very good movie. Um, a movie worth watching if you're a person who's really into fashion. And another good movie that I really wanted to talk about too um, was uh, the uh, Corella Deville movie. Like the fashion in that, I was there for it. I loved it. Um, I love the setup of it, but we're talking about the House of Gucci. House of Gucci, you had witchcraft, you had um, you had a psychic, you had um, tax evasion, you had jail, you had murder, you had um, infidelity. You like you had so much going on within this family, and. What I decided to do, especially when it's coming to before watching movies like these, I love to. I, I'm a person who loves docu- documentaries. Um, I love watching every variety of documentaries, whether I agree with it or don't agree with it or not, so I can get a better perspective of understanding. Man, this computer is bright. <laughs> a better perspective of the 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 film. Um, the movie was was really good. I would really like to see it in a series. Um, if they were to bring back all these original actors that were in it and continue, like, you know, started from, you know, the beginning, from the beginning of the family, from the beginning of when the family, you know, started with their suitcase line, and then it ended up becoming to what it is today. It's just really unfortunate on how a lot of people will don't understand the importance and the beauty of a legacy. And you could have multiple tar- types of legacy and the be- the most important legacy would be your children because they're the only living proof other than your tombstone that shows that you exist that you were here now when it came to uh gucci um it was pretty i found it it's pretty incredible how you have these families um second third fifth generation um that come from wealth um, family struggled, did what they had to do, built something, made something, made nothing into something. But it's incredible on how a lot of them really don't, they're either really into it for all the wrong reasons or they're really not into it. So the dynasty doesn't even really last. It was pretty interesting to see how everything played out the way that it did. Um, from Patricia um, uh, Gucci and her husband and the cousin. Now, when it came to the cousin, the only thing I didn't like was um, they made him come off like super eccentric, um, feminine, like over the top. You know, when when you watch interviews of him in it and interviews of the uncle and interviews of his father, you don't see that. And yeah, it's true. It's easy to put up a front when you're aware that you're being recorded versus when you're not. I just really didn't like how they... Um, I, I, didn't, I didn't like how they I didn't like how they played that out. I didn't like how they I mean there were parts that even though they said the movie was inspired by true events, I'm you know, we already know when they say inspired, we know that parts of what they're saying and sharing is true, but they can't really solidify and say this is actually the fact of what happened. So we can, so I can speculate based upon the documentaries, news footages, and the interviews that these were bits and pieces that were taken out from what was exposed to us as viewers throughout those times of what was actually going on. Um, I really would like to see if the ex-wife of Gucci will decide to say, you know what, I'm going to share my story and see her perspective of this film but have it redone based on her perspective and the same at, with the family themselves. You know, I would, I would really like to see that. Um, but the movie was really good. It's a good, I could say, um, it just goes to show that it don't matter how much money you have, like you can't, it's all, it all begins with what's in your heart. Her heart was not about him. Her heart was all about power, fame, money. Um, he just wanted to have, he literally wanted to have a simple life. <laughs> he he grew up in that. So he was like, I don't even want to be part of that. And when he said, well, by, you know, by me, he, there was a part where he speaks about him being part German. It goes to show how so many times how you can be discredited by family or dismissed by family just because you, they feel like you're not 100% you know, maybe by tradition or cultural mix or whatever, but the film is a definitely a film you would definitely want to watch if you're interested in crime movies like this.